Well, Joe, first and foremost, it's half the job done because you're guaranteed now a home quarter final. Yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, the boys have played brilliantly all comp, um, obviously witnessed it from the side, but it was exactly kind of today epitomised the, you know, the first few games. And um, we weren't sure how the pitch was going to play. We thought it was going to be pretty good, so we bowled first. Um, it wasn't straightforward. Um, we thought they were under par and we knew we just sort of had to set a platform and then it got pretty good towards the afternoon. But it was a, it was a clinical performance set up by the bowlers, especially, you know, Dutchie. An eight wicket win, it could have so easily been ten wicket win at one stage. Yeah, me and Fletch were um, trying our best to make it a ten wicket win. We wanted to make sure our net run rate was good, so we sort of tried to quicken up the pace a little bit um, just to keep us in touch with Leicester. But um, yeah, we tried our best. Now, what about you? Because you've hardly batted, have you, this month? I know you haven't got much of an innings uh, with the Southern Brave. And you, you out there, I mean, I'll say it, out there, it looked like you'd been batting every day and been scoring runs every day. <laughs> it didn't feel like that. Um, no, we just said give ourselves a chance. You know, we went fairly slowly Fletch played beautifully especially up top um, in the first few balls and um, it was just nice to bat to be honest I haven't yeah as you say I haven't done overly much um, in, a, in a game so it was just nice to spend time in the middle and um, yeah do my best with the team always nice to get 100 but 100 off 100 balls and some of the shots there I mean you must have been out there thinking I really feel good here don't you I was just enjoying it um, as I said Fletch played beautifully and um, for the most part I was playing second fiddle and then um, the message came on just to put put the foot down a little bit. Um, so yeah, and it's a, it's a nice place to bat. It's been difficult being away with the hundred because I know you know I mean you have, you've hardly batted this year and it's been the case last year as well, isn't it? Yeah, I'm desperate. I love that environment. I'm desperate to get the opportunity. Um, I feel like I'm capable to make an impact at, at that level. So it's just a, a case of being patient there. Hopefully the opportunities are not not far away. But um, when Giles and Adi asked, you know, could I play today? I jumped at the opportunity. Um, such a good group, like young players, homegrown players. Um, they've been going so well. So to make a difference, um, I really enjoyed today. And um, yeah, hopefully can play later on in the comp. It was big shoes to fill because Nick Gubbins has been in good form in this competition <laughs> yeah, as well. I yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I didn't want to captain. I'll open the batting, that's fine. Um, oh, Gubbins played beautifully all year, red and white ball. So. Um, yeah, hopefully field issues okay. It all comes down to the last game on the Isle of Wight now as to whether there's a chance of having a home semi instead of a home quarter. Yeah, and that's largely irrelevant. The guys have played brilliant cricket. Um, it was probably really hard to, to top last year. The guys played excellent cricket. And so you know, to, to start like we have, um, if we keep playing good cricket, um, then I'm sure we're a chance of, of that. So fingers crossed.